what's going on everyone everywhere and this video man we gonna go over the three best times to get full or max to renowned for any given dlc okay now without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it like comment subscribe if you are new okay turn on post notification bell all that good stuff all right so the three best times to get maxed renown for any DLC in this game of DC Universe Online are as follows. One, when the content is new or when it is the latest content, okay? Right now, the latest content is the Death Metal uh, Dark Knights, okay? If you don't know what that is or what um, content that contains um, generally you can find it here in your events tab or you can go over to each individual like two four and eight player um, tabs to find them and their respective uh, group sizes all right but actually dark knights the new apocalypse the return to dark knights return to earth three and dark knights of source wall okay now running the elite versions of these is best when as you see these are the latest contents so anytime that this is the latest content it's the best time okay if you see a group shouting for it in lfg here or if your friends or whoever is going to go ahead and oh see look at that there's people shouting for the elites right now but if you see that jump on it Okay, that I'm almost noticed that might be a very good group that's gonna get through it easy. It might be a group that doesn't get through it at all. It might be a group that struggles a little bit but can get through it. You never know, but go ahead and take that chance just in case. Because it may be a group that actually is going to stay together and just spam it a whole bunch of times if they get through it. You never know. So definitely take the chances, go in those groups, especially if it's the latest and newest DLC to this game, okay? That is the first and foremost best way to get full slash maxed renown for the DLC. Okay. Now, method two is pretty, you know, some people say common sense, pretty self-explanatory. Um, but I just want to, you know, lay it all out so everyone is fully aware. All right. Now, if you don't know already, each week, um, for the most part, DCO has given a spotlight to certain DLCs or made it like double source marks, double of the particular DLCs marks or whatever the case may be. Um, double artifact XP, you know, more ally favor drop, okay, more nth metal dropping whatever it can be they have done a episode or in a weekly spotlight for each week for quite a while now i believe like a year or maybe more at this point but with that said you can definitely check out on the forums or check out um i think multiverse post videos about it obsidian chill occasionally post videos about it um or definitely hit up dco's twitter to find what the latest one is, or just look on DCO forms to find out what the episode or weekly um, spotlight is. Okay, what is the bonus of that week? What is the week focusing on? Where the case may be. Okay, it's on their website. It's on their forms. Um, a couple people on YouTube here making videos about it. So definitely check them out as well. But Whenever a spotlight is shined for that week on a particular DLC, and it can be an older DLC like um, Justice League Dark. Now, I'm going to show y'all. We're going to go through all the tiers here. I'm going to show you where Justice League Dark is. As you see, Dark Knights, the latest DLC, is all the way up here. Justice League Dark is actually way back here. JLD stands for... Justice League Dark, okay? So, see, it's not even in tier six, it's in tier five, in the middle of tier five at that. So, 
that when that spotlight comes is the prime time to go ahead and try to run the elite version of that content okay uh, whether it doesn't it's not specific to just sleep dark i'll just give you an example because that um episode spotlight actually passed i believe like a week or two ago so it can be any of the dlc um uh, metal part two uh titans atlantis okay it does not matter all right birds of prey wonderverse whatever the case may be but whenever there's an episode spotlight that is the second best method to go ahead and get full renowned okay now for the third and final for this video's purposes at least way of getting full renown and the best way to get full renown honestly is to go ahead and wait for the anniversary event um dco anniversary event i for, i don't know exactly what date it is going to fall on each year but it's generally around the beginning of this greco-roman calendar which is you know january around that time um dc does the anniversary because that's where dc anniversary lie so they have an anniversary event and doing the raid which will be in the event tab whenever on your on duty menu whenever that anniversary is active and live okay there is an elite version of the raid there's actually two raids now so that's even better um hopefully they keep the two raids and don't resort back to one but hey we don't know what's going to happen in the future here but if you didn't know, whenever you're on the elite version of the anniversary event, you get a accommodation reward box. Now, the reward box is different from any other accommodation that you get because I'm going to show you. As you see, these are accommodations that you get throughout DLCs. OK, none of these are boxes. They just say accommodation at the end and they specify which combination they are for. All right. Now the box gives you a choice of pretty much all, I believe it's all, um, I may be slightly mistaken on that, but I believe it is all of the combinations in the game to that date, um, anything prior to that, okay, or current. It will give you a choice of any of those combinations. Now, what makes that so good is each boss drops one of those combination boxes. Now, you may be going like, hey, Trey, that's not special. Whenever you run an alert or a raid, normally each boss drops a combination. Yeah, but these aren't just any old combination because just by the first boss alone, which most people can actually get through, the little paradox gazer, okay? Um, most people can actually get through and it still drops you a box and that box for just one accommodation is 650 renowned to any one that you choose so if we go over to our deeds right here and we scroll down to renown click on that as you see to get max renown you just need 6500 and if it gives you 650 per boss you know slain aka per accommodation box and a full run gives you three accommodation boxes you only need to run the raid for just one full bar from zero to six thousand five hundred renown not even four full times Definitely three full times and an additional one if you don't have any uh, renowned boosters. Now you can just run it three full times if you do have a renowned booster. Now you can definitely get a renowned booster like I showed in another video, um, whether it be any nightclubs at the, at the front of the nightclub, as soon as you get past the little um, walk around maze from like coming outside of the nightclub in, um, once you go into like the more main area off to the left hand side, you should see a little vendor. Let me actually go over here to actually show you what the vendor looks like as well. 
because there's another one outside of all the nightclubs and police stations. There's one here in the House of Legends and it's Vandal Savage here in the middle of the map. Okay, you have the loyalty vendor. All right, and you just go ahead, scroll down, get you the, oh, come on, come on, there we go. The renowned booster four pack. As you see, it only takes 100 loyalty points. If you have membership, you get 500 loyalty points every month. So this is just perfect. It's you 25% boost. That is more than enough to go ahead and just run that raid three full times and you got a full renown bar, okay? It's incredible actually. From zero to full in just three raid runs. That's insane. <clears throat> and it can go for any of these at all. Some of them I already have done, as you see, by running the content or even you know putting a little bit of those accommodation to good use over here and some of them I still need to go ahead and do as you see okay so those are the three best ways to get full renown once again if it's the latest DLC is number one go ahead and run it whenever you have the availability to run it two would be whenever there is an episode spotlight for that specific week and three would be during the anniversary event, just running the normal anniversary um, elite version raids and choosing the out of the accommodation boxes you get for defeating each boss, choosing the respective renown that you want to get. OK. So without further ado, y'all, that's about all I got for this video right here. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video out to everyone who plays DC so they are aware and they know, especially around the anniversary time, if we got a whole bunch of players coming in, I'm going to try to even live stream and get a whole bunch of subscribers to go ahead and run some of the elite content with. So definitely stay tuned in for that. You know, put on the bell because we got a whole bunch of style contests, giveaways every single month um, for this year. And... Just a whole bunch of the nice videos. I do a lot of healer loadout videos, um, damage loadout videos for healer powers. So powers that can be healed like water, electric, celestial, nature, and sorcery. Okay. And just a little bit of here and there videos as well, like the renowns, the allies, artifacts, etc. Okay. So without further ado, y'all, y'all take it easy. Y'all take care and shalom.